guys welcome to my channel art saga and to the new tutorial video called how to place room tags if you are new to this channel and have not checked the previous videos please like and subscribe the channel and check the previous videos so guys let's start I will be using this plan today and you can learn how we will add room tags and room separators and create a room shading. So if you want to know how I created this plan, added doors, added walls and added floors, you can check my previous videos. I have added the links in the description. So let's start tagging our rooms. So in order to tag rooms, you need to go to architecture and find for room and area tab so you here you will find options of room room separator tag room area and tag area so we'll go with rooms so as you click on room a modify section tab will activate and here are some options called place room automatically highlight boundaries we will focus on tag on placement right now so this is checked so if my i hover my mouse onto the draw screen you will see a room tag, uh, a room boundaries look like this. But I cannot place a room outside a enclosed space. So I'll hover my mouse inside an enclosed space and I'll say click. So right now my tag on placement option was ticked. But what if I uncheck it? So if I uncheck it and place it over an enclosed space, so my room and room number would not appear here. So I'll just uh, I have just uh, tried to show you uh, what does this option does when you, you will check it or uncheck it. So I delete this right now and I will again place a room by checking tag on placement. I will place a room here. I will place a room in this area. I will escape two times to get out of the command. Now let's consider this is my living room. This room is my kitchen. This room is my bedroom and this room is my bathroom. So while placing a tag, you always know that the space should be enclosed. But right now both these rooms have only a single tag and I cannot place an another tag. So I want this room as another room and this room as a separate room. So how can we do it? So here's an option called room separator. So it basically creates a line or creates a boundary between two shared areas. So what I'll do, I'll select this line in a modify, uh, modify section tab and what I'll do, I want a room bounding between these rooms at this area. So I'll click and draw a line. So I'll, the line appears on the plan but later you can hide it. Now if you click on this room, you will see the bounding is only on this area and you need to add an, another room tag at this area to say it as living room. So I will click on room and place a room here and escape two times to get out of the command. So now we have separate rooms for each and uh, each and every area. Now let's zoom over our bathroom area here and I tap tab and select this area. So when you see my room bounding is only inside this space. And I want to include this space also uh, like I can say this space is my shaft or an installation area and I want this area to be included in this room 24 area. So what I'll do I'll select this wall and the property section tab will activate and you will go and check for room bounding. So right now this is ticked. So if I untick it this wall would disappear from the area. So this area will also be included in this. So let's see what happens. So I uncheck it and select, tap tab and select the room bounding. And you can see the room is selected till here. So in the red lines now you can see the whole room is selected. Again for this room you will see this wall is not included in this area. What I'll do I'll select this wall and uncheck the room bounding. Again select the area and you can see 
now this wall is not include uh, now this wall area is also included in the room area same goes for kitchen i'll i'll check this and you can see the same this room tag does not look good so let's start renaming the rooms so there are some options here so when you click on room there is a property section tab is activated and you can see some options from it right here so we have just a room tag room tag with area and room tag with volume now if you select room tag with area you will have room so the name of the room the number of the room and the area of the room boundary so till where the area goes it will show so right now it is 37 meter square so i'll escape two times i'll again go back to only room tag so for area we will add a schedule i will tell you in the later part of the video so let's select room tag i'll click again and rename it as living room sorry living room and i want the number as 1 and say okay i'll rename this room as bedroom sorry and rename the number as 3 i'll rename this room as kitchen and rename the number as 2 and i'll rename this as bathroom and say this is 4 i'll escape two times to get out of every command i was in so here are our room names with room tags now let's add some color scheme to show the plan aesthetically good so uh, what i'll do i'll go to annotate tab and search for color fill and i'll select color fill legend now i'll just click it here and keep the legend over this area so this is just a 2d element it would not show it in any renders or uh, you can show it on your sheet or you do not show it so it's our choice how we want it so i'll just place it here after placing it this tab will open and my space type is not spaces so i will just drop it down and select rooms and the color scheme is as per the names so i'll select names and say okay so after placing this i can see revit has added some default colors for all these rooms so i have not so i we have selected the room bounding off so the color is selected till this shaft area as well so if i don't want these colors so what i'll do i'll just select on room legend and a modify section tab will open and i'll select edit schemes so after this a edit color scheme tab will open and i can change my colors here so let's say i want a yellow color and i'll keep the opacity the color brightness to less and say okay and apply and okay so i have my color change now if you don't want the room tags for the rooms you can select all the tags make sure you just select the tag and not the area boundary and you can delete it so the warning will be the room tag was deleted but the room still exist so the room would be known from the color schemes now so if you want to see what the yellow color means so this is a bathroom a blue color is a living room a light blue cyan color is a bedroom so you can know the rooms by its color scheme now we have added some room tags room boundary room color legend now we'll prepare a room schedule so you will go to project browser and check for schedule and quantities i'll right click on this and select new schedule and quantities after selecting it just scroll down and check for rooms so i'll scroll down and yes we have room the name of the schedule will be room schedule and i will say okay now what all things we need in the schedule so we need a name and we need to calculate all the areas for the room so i'll search for area i will put it in this schedule fields so you can use this arrow to move these fields to this order and you can remove this as well so i'll just put it again now i want room names as well so i'll check for names 
and put it in this order and say ok. So now our schedule is ready. You can see a room schedule with all the areas and all the names. So bedroom is 43 meters square, bathroom is 10 meters square. But now this does not look nice. The name should be on the left side and the area should be on the right side. So what we can do, we can go to fields and after going here, select the name and check move parameter up. So I'll select this and my name is above and I'll say OK. So now the room schedule says the name on the left side and the area on the right side. But now is this bedroom 43 meters square? It might have rounded off. So what I'll do? I'll go to my plinth level plan and press UN and go to area which is in meter square. The square, it is in square meters, meter square and the rounding is to zero dec decimal places. The area would not be in a zero decimal places. It always has some points to it and the area while calculating an area it is very necessary to have a precise area. So let's say I'll keep it to two decimal places and I'll say OK and I'll again say OK. Now we'll go back to our room schedule. So now we have our precise area which is 42.81 meters square for bedroom and to living room let's it is 37.07 meters square. So this is our correct area. So now when you go in project browser and you will go for schedule and quantities there is a plus sign so because we have created one schedule so I'll just check it and we have a room schedule ready so in upcoming classes we will also learn how to put all the schedules or all this table inside a sheet so please like and subscribe for this channel and stay tuned for my next videos thank you